Welcome back everyone to The Roman Show and it's a pleasure to have this gentleman all the way from Italy, part of the Human Tornado. They are the latest band, they're dropping out their latest on uh, album on March 11th. Make sure that you go ahead on your favorite streaming service and add it to your playlist. Singles available right now, you got Dreamland and Lance Last Embrace. Rob, thanks so much for joining us. I know it's, uh, the time difference is a, it's a big thing, but thanks so much for doing this for us. Thank you too. Thank you too, Roman. So, nice to meet you. <laughs> likewise, likewise. So, uh, Rob, tell us about this album, how it all came about uh, getting together. Of course, we just had this uh, tough uh, battle with the pandemic. Um, and I know that many bands, this was an opportunity for them to really get together and, and, and come up with some creative ideas. So how did this all come about and, and, and what were some of the motivations to put this album out? Okay, okay. Um, we started working uh, on this album uh, before COVID and uh, during, uh, during the pandemic we had uh, the opportunity to compose uh, a good part of uh, the next album, uh, the third album. We worked uh, remotely, each from uh, their own home, uh, talking via telephone and uh, video calls. I don't hide from uh, you that it uh, was very difficult. However, thanks uh, to this situation, the third album is going to be something amazing. Something amazing. So you said that, that there were some challenges making the album, obviously working remotely. How are you able to get together with all the band members virtually and, and, and get to on the same, same path, same beat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where did you get some of the inspiration to write the music for this album? Uh, the inspiration, it comes from uh, common life experience uh, that may relate to anyone uh, and from uh, too much hours of uh, all kinds of music, hmm. all kinds of music. So I, I read a uh, press release that you said that you explored new sounds. Uh, can you elaborate? What, what type of sounds did you guys bring into your music this time around? Yeah. Uh, we wanted to explore uh, new sounds, but uh, without forgetting our heavy rock imprint. Uh, so we produced uh, an intense groovy album with more melodic openings, uh, more melodic openings. Now, tell me a little bit about the single Love is the Mold. I know it's hard pumping, fast fueled type of song, but tell me a little bit about it and, and, and what it means to you or, or could it mean something else to anyone else? Uh, Love is the Mode is uh, the title of the entire album. Uh, our first single is uh, Dreamland. Mm -hmm. Can I talk about it? Sure, of course. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, Dreamland. Um, it's one of us, uh, um, an inner dark side, and uh, we often have to control it uh, to be able to do the best we can in everyday life. Dreamland is our invitation to fight and win our private monster uh, containing us uh, throughout life. So we choose this song uh, as the first single because it uh, represents uh, our desire to fight and uh, do our best on stage. Um, sound impact is uh, very strong, uh, the drumming is powerful. Uh, the guitar riff uh, is defined uh, from the beginning to the end, uh, so that our message remains uh, well impressed, impressed in uh, our audience mind. So you mentioned about Dreamland and obviously there's other songs out there that you guys want to perform live, but which song are you looking to perform on stage when you guys uh, hit the road? the most technically difficult song to play and uh, and the only one we play works <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> so um, is, is there one song uh, that you really when even when you play it it, it it hits close to home you get emotional performing it Roman yes I can hear you oh how about now how about now better there hello 
yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I said, um, which, which, which song uh, of the album? Um, um, yeah, can, can you hear me there better? Uh, can you hear me there better? This song, this, yeah. this song's called uh, Free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This song uh, is called Free uh, because uh, it describes the life uh, of a dear friend who is no longer with us. Um, imagine uh, to be forced into a wheelchair trapped uh, in uh, a world refusing you and denying you any kind of uh, support. Your only desire would be to escape my away looking for freedom denied but your physical condition. This song in uh, its increasing intensity represent, represent the desperate search for a solution apparently impossible. Now is there uh, any information on upcoming tours? Are you going to be hitting the road anytime soon? Can I say fuck? <laughs> you just did. <laughs> okay. Fuck COVID. <laughs> uh, we are waiting to be to be free again. Uh, our label, uh, Rockslot Records, and our management, uh, Cerberus Booking, uh, are working are working for for us, and uh, they do it uh, really well. We have a great. Uh, I can tell you more. It uh, it's top secret. Top secret. Okay, so we, we will look forward to seeing you in action very soon uh, on the stage. You just have to keep us posted. I hope very soon. I hope very soon, Roman. <laughs> great, great. Well, Rob, I want to thank you so much for your time and, and thank you for, for uh, taking your time to speak to us. You know, we have some great bands that are coming out of Italy uh, that, that, that have really made it... Uh, until the big time especially here in the states so we hope that one day we get to catch you here in the united states very soon uh once you guys hit the road we'd love to have you down here yeah it could be amazing uh thank you too roman uh for um, for the invitation for your work and for your support uh, you give to underground music and sorry for my english but uh, i'm not a mother tongue sorry <laughs> no it's okay you did better you, you did great you did great thanks so much rob and again we look forward to catching the uh the album dropping it next month in march and i uh, can't wait to to jam to it thanks so much rob thank you too thank you thank bye. you bye bye <laughs>